Today's lesson, section 11.1b, we're talking about parabolas still. Now here, um, the last video we graphed them and found our important information. Here we're going to try to write the equation given important information. So we want to find an equation of a parabola given the vertex is at the origin. Remember that it's always 0, 0. And then given the following. Okay, so letter A, we're given that the focus is 0, comma, negative 8. Okay, so that tells me if the vertex is 0, 0, remember that my p value is attached to that, so that means my p is negative 8. So if p is negative 8, then I want to plug it into the proper equation. So now go back to maybe your notes to kind of figure, remember this. Um, but remember that the if the value for your focus was in the y position, that meant that the y was it to the first power. Okay. Also, another way to remember it, if you understand the graphs, the focus is at, like, on the vertical axis, right? It's on the y-axis, so that means that it should be a vertical axis parabola, which is x squared. So there's two different ways to kind of figure that out. I'm sure there's other ways you can think about it as well, but those are just two that come to mind to me right now. So then I'm going to start with the general equation. I'll plug in my p. Okay, and so 4 times negative 8 gives me negative 32. And so there's my equation. So some of these are going to be pretty straightforward because you're going to be given, because you just want to be able to find the p value, um, and that's all you really need to complete your equation. So here you're given the directrix for letter b. It's x equals 1 third. Remember that that means it's the opposite, so then p must equal negative one-third for that to be true, okay? And also because x is the one that's attached to it for your directrix, um, so then the one with all the x squareds in the correct position would be y squared equals 4p uh, y or x, okay? So then now I get to plug in my p value, and then simplify, so it gives me negative 4 thirds x, and that would be my equation. Another way of thinking about that is because your directrix is a vertical line, then that means your parabola must open either to the left or to the right, and so it's a horizontal axis because that's what the axis of symmetry would be, because it's perpendicular to the directrix, so then it must go with the y squared equation, not the x squared, okay? So some helpful hints. Let's go to some other ones. Now here you're given graphs, so some different information. Um, in letter C, you're given the focal diameter, um, which would look like that on the left side of the focus is one half, on the right side is one half, so together your focal diameter should equal one. And remember that the focal diameter is equal to the absolute value of 4p. Now Usually when you're solving an absolute value equation, you'd split up into two equations, but we're not concerned with that because um, we just want to be able to solve for p, and then because of the orientation of the graph, it'll give it, uh, tell us if p is positive or negative in this case. So first I want to find p, so I divide both sides by 4, okay? now. Your p is going to be positive because looking at my graph, it's opening up. So that means that p is positive in those positions. So now I want to go to the equation that makes sense for this one as well because it's opening up. That means x is going to be squared. So start with the general. Plug in what I know. and then simplify, so x squared, 4 times 1 fourth would be 1, so I get x squared equals y. I know that there would be a simpler way to get from here to there, is because you know 4p is 1, so you just insert 1 in for 4p. So just a helpful hint there to make your life a little easier. Uh, letter D, you're given a point, okay? So now you're not given anything about the graph. I know that you could probably kind of 
maybe figure out the focus, but that's kind of not a good, effective um, time to be spending on trying to find the equation for this. So the easier way is to take the correct equation. So because you have a left opening um, parabola, that means that you should have a y squared equals 4px. And because you're given a point that has an x and a y value, you need to plug that in, and that'll help you find p. So then now, or you could just find 4p, actually. So let's talk about it that way. So I plug in negative 3 for y, and I plug in negative 5 for x, and now I want to solve. So negative 3 squared is 9, and you have 4p times negative 5. Let's divide both sides by negative 5. Okay. So 4p is equal to 9 fifths. Okay. So now the reason why I'm not solving for p is because I really want to just find what 4p is so I can insert that in because that's really what I'll be into. If I continue to solve, I'll get 9 or negative 9 twentieths and then I'll plug that back into P and I'll still get negative 9 fifths for my equation. You can check my work if you'd like. So Y squared is going to equal negative 9 fifths because I'm inserting this in for that here times X. And that would be my answer. Okay? Have fun.